What is up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is of course going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I'm so excited. As you probably could tell, I'm really excited right now because I'm obsessed with this look. Like I'm so happy with how it turned out. I was just really down to do an intense glam, girly, jewel toned makeup look and this is what we came up with. I actually did pull out this baby for this look, the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. You guys know I had to hit her up again one time because I mean, she's so pretty. Like how can you not love this palette? It's so gorgeous. Also, as soon as I saw that Twilight shade, the shimmery purple one, I was like, yeah, that is the inspo behind this look. So I'm obsessed. I really do hope you guys like this look as much as I do. If you do enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also, if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. And with all that being said, let's get into it. Oh my goodness, guys. If I look like I'm really flustered right now, I just had a sneezing fit. And when I start sneezing, I will continue to sneeze like 20 times in a row. It's insane. So that's why I feel like I'm congested. Like perfect timing. I'm about to start filming and your girl just had a sneezing fit. But we're gonna start things off with the face, of course. I'm gonna firstly prime using the Fenty Beauty Primer. This is their Soft Matte Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So as you can see, I'm just blending that into the skin with the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. Sometimes when I do apply primers, I prefer to use a brush. I feel like not only is it more sanitary, but it just helps with not making my face all red and irritated as it would if I were to use my hands. So that's why I'm using a brush. So since I use the Fenty Beauty Primer, I am of course gonna be using the foundation. Now this foundation, it's like a shade or two darker, but I really wanna use it and um, it's a really good foundation. If you haven't already seen my first impression on this baby right here, I'll leave a link somewhere up on the screen right now. Um, but it's such a good foundation, you guys. I just happened to get a shade that was a little bit too dark like one or two shades too dark as I'm sure a lot of you guys know this does oxidize but regardless I'm obsessed with it and I try to use it as much as I can so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that today I'll be using the Real Techniques expert face brush to spread it out over my face and blend it in I'm seriously so obsessed with the finish of this foundation and it's totally buildable. Like you can build it up to the coverage that your skin needs. Going in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, I'm just going to hit up those dark circles underneath my eyes. You guys know how it is. If you watch my channel regularly, you know I really do like to color correct, especially the darkness underneath my eyes. I just feel like this extra step in my makeup application really does help to brighten up the face a little more. I just wanna say if you guys can hear any birds in the background, I apologize. It's spring over here, the birds are out, the sun is shining, and there's birds all up in my yard just eating flowers. Um, I was watching them this morning and they're very loud. So if you can hear that, I apologize. But moving on to concealer now, I'm going in with this baby right here. Now, if you know me, you know this is like hands down. Yeah, it's my all-time favorite concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And the shade that I use is NC20, which is very light in comparison to my skin tone. But it's light because I really do like the area underneath my eyes to be nice and bright. That's just how I am. So the way that I like to apply this is with my fingers. I just take it to both of my middle fingers and then pat it onto the areas that I want to both conceal and brighten and highlight. And then once it is applied, I go in with the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush to blend it into the skin. So I know this looks really crazy right now, but trust me, once I set it in place, it's gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna be taking the, as usual, you already know, the Astralis Ready, Set, Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent and my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and set all that concealer in place. As you can see, I'm just using gentle patting motions to set it in place. You definitely wanna make sure that you aren't swiping away at all the concealer that you've just applied because you don't want anything to shift. So patting 
Motions are the way to go. So for the rest of my face, I'm just gonna go in with the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade Petal. You guys know that this is my favorite pressed powder when it comes to setting foundation. So as you can see, I'm just patting that powder onto my face and I'm using the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush. As always, to start the eyes off, I'm going to prime the lids with the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. I'm just going ahead and blending that all over my lids right up to the brows using the Zoeva 142 Concealer buffer brush and then I'm also going to go ahead and set it in place with some more translucent powder. So for this look today, I am of course going to be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Had to pull this one out again because I mean every time I look at it man like it's just so pretty. So the first shade that I'm going to be taking is Amber. There she is. Yep. So I'm going to be taking Amber using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. This shadow is going to act as my initial transition shade just to have something between all the other shades that I will be applying over top. So as you guys can see, I'm just doing the usual, running it back and forth through my crease and blending it as I go. Alright, so next up, I'm going to be going in with the shade down the bottom here called Saffron. As you can see, it's a really intense matte red shade. So I'm just using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply this all through my crease once again and also kind of drag it through the outer corner of my eye as well to start forming that tapered cat eye effect that I really like to do in pretty much all of my looks. But I'm just going to continue to blend this shadow as I go along. It's really important that when you're working with such bright intensely colored shadows, you don't want to go balls deep in it straight away. You kind of just want to work up to it. So that's exactly what I'm doing with this. I'm just slowly blending it, adding a little bit more color every single time I dip back in with my brush. And it makes it a lot easier to get a nice smooth blend with the shadow as well. As opposed to trying to blend away shadow when you've applied too much. Trust me, it ain't fun. So definitely work up to the intensity that you want it to be. All right, so now that I've got that color in my crease nice and blended, I'm just gonna go back in with the first brush I had used for that Eden shade. And I'm going to ever so slightly blend the top edge just to make sure that, you know, everything is all nice and smooth. You know how it is. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna do a cut crease, like a semi-cut crease. So, so I'm gonna be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer once again, and I'm using the Sigma F70 Concealer Brush. Now these two are very important when you want to create a crisp cut crease. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of that concealer and coat my brush in it, and then I'm essentially just going to go ahead and apply that to my lid and cut the crease. So I'm sure you guys have seen this technique for cutting the crease. Essentially what you wanna do is paint the concealer onto your lids in a roundabout manner where you think it would be and then look up and that will give you the exact like imprint of what you need to fill in. So pretty much just apply it, look up and then fill in the gaps. It's as easy as that. So now that I've got the creases cut with that concealer, I am going to go into this beautiful shade right here. It's super shimmery. It's actually an eyeshadow topper, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set the concealer in place with this shadow right here. So I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader and essentially I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this onto the concealer that I just used to cut my crease. As you can see, since the concealer hasn't been set in place or anything, it acts as the perfect base for this eyeshadow and it literally just sticks. So now for the outer corners of my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this matte purple shade right here called Amethyst. I really need to blend out this edge right here, the edge of the concealer. You guys see it. So I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer and I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and apply this to the outer corner of my eyes and blend it in towards that twilight shade just to kind of balance everything out and make sure that there is no harsh line from um, that concealer on the outer edge as you guys can see. So for my bottom lash line now, I'm firstly gonna go back into that Eden shade and smoke this out along there. Usually I like to mimic what I've done in my crease on my bottom lash line. So that is why I'm firstly gonna go into this shade. And since it's really light, I can smoke it out and it gives for a really nice transition. Then I'm just gonna go back into the matte red shade Saffron and I'm also going to run that along my bottom lash line. But you guys know the drill, I'm keeping it much closer to the lashes 
just to help define the eye a little more. So I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush for this. I'm also going to go ahead and give myself a wing today. So I'm using the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. I feel like I've been really into winged liner lately. Usually I don't bother to do it because I'm not very good at it. But I don't know, I'm trying to get in that practice, you know? So I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl because I'm going to be applying mascara. Today I'll be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. You guys know, oh my goodness, this is my favorite, like hands down, fave mascara ever. It is the bomb. If you have not tried it, what are you doing? Like you need it in your life. It's so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and give both my bottom and top lashes a coat of this. So for falsies today, I'm going to be going big, bold, and intense. I don't know why, but lately I've been really into intense, dramatic, fluffy lashes, like more intense than usual. So I'm going to be using these ones from Dodo Lashes today. These are in the style D309. And as you can see, like they are popping, like they're intense. They don't look too crazy in the pan, but when I put them on my eyes, best believe they're gonna look big. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply those. I'm using the Revlon Lash Adhesive to attach those to my eyes. And um, yeah, just you guys wait and see how big these look. So now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. I'm gonna start off by contouring. So I'm going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I'm taking this shade here. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face with that. So I'm just running that along my jawline and my cheekbones as well as my nose. So as you can see, I'm just using the Models Prefer Contouring Brush. But for my nose, I just like to use an eye shading brush. I feel like it gives a lot more precision. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face away. <laughs> Next up for bronzer, you guys, oh my goodness, I had to repurchase a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun because this is my favorite thing to use for bronzer. But yes, I'm using my love today to bronze my face up. And I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. I just like to run this over my cheeks and around the perimeters of my face, particularly around my hairline, just to give me, you know, a little bit of bronze, a little bit of warmth and it just balances out the face really nicely. Now for blush, I'm just gonna be going into the It's Hot Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. This is like a staple, I feel. It's such a neutral toned blush. I feel like it goes with so many looks. So whenever I do a colorful look such as this one, this is like my go-to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the apples of my cheeks and I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush to do so. So for highlighter today, I have this one here from MAC and it is a little bit different than something that I would typically use. As you can see, when I turn the pen, it kind of shifts to this like pinky tone, which I feel like is perfect for this look right here. So this one is in the shade Beaming Blush. It's an extra dimension skin finish. And I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush to apply that in all the usual areas that I like to highlight. Onto my lips now, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly line them with this Chi Chi Stay On Lip Liner. This one is in the shade It Girl. It's kind of like a movie nude pink kind of shade, which isn't typically what I'd go for, but for this look, I am going to be doing a pinkish nude. So my lip color of choice today is the Too Faced Liquid Lipstick in Child Star. As you can see, it is a nude, but it has more of a pink undertone to it, which you guys know I'm all about my like nude nudes, peachy nudes, not so much pink nudes, but I feel like for this look, I've got to throw some pink on the lips. So just to tone the lips down a little bit because I feel like this is very pale, like it's like a pale baby pink for me right now. I'm just gonna go over top with some of the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. As you can see, it's like a nude color. This is like my everyday lip gloss pretty much, but I do like to use it whenever I want to tone something down on the lips. Alrighty guys, this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm honestly obsessed with this look right now. I really do hope you guys like it as well. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. As always, I will list everything that I used throughout the video down in the description box where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, all that good stuff is down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And also if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I'm just gonna, I'll give you a second, you know. Scroll down below, hit the little red button so you don't miss any more videos that I post. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you all in the comments. I love you and I'll catch you all in my next video. 
Stay glowy. Yeah.